Dramatic. Welcome back to the series about reason. And the first thing we'll be learning about today is redrum. Don't look at this word backwards. Oh, scary. So click redrum and it should pop up with this. If not, and it has all these weird shit up in here, just right click and initialize patch. It'll clear out all those sounds. All right, so redrum. Uh, holy goddamn. So many buttons and shit. Redrum is really the perfect tool to make drum beats. And so I'll walk you through all of this craziness. These numbers that you see here basically represent each sound in a drum track, whether it be kick drums, hi-hats, and claps, all are loaded into these to be played. Relatively simple to load, just click the folder icon right here on whichever channel you want to use to load up your first sound. Today I'll be making a trance beat, so what I'm going to need first is a kick drum. If your computer hasn't already taken you there, on this left side click Factory, Reason Factory Sound Bank. Now go down to Redrum Drum Kits, and don't pay attention to all these, and go to Exclusive Drums Sorted. And there are your individual folders for different sounds. Badass! So I'll open up bass drums. Whoa! Look at all these. What the fuck? These are all the bass drum sounds. So let's check them out and see if any of them are trance song worthy. All right, uh, that one sounds like two gorillas having sex in a pile of whale shit. Oh, that one makes me want to have sex, so we're nowhere on the right track. All right, so let's load this bitch up. All you have to do is press OK. Um, now you'll see that your first channel here has a sound in it. So with this sound, you'll need to make a pattern. How do you do that? Down here, you'll see weird shaped buttons that are white. Um, there are 16 of them representing the 16 ticks in one beat. So in order to make this bass drum, I'll have to put them on this timeline by pressing down all these white keys where I want them. Alright, so let's make this pattern. In order to play a pattern, just press run. Wow, that sounds like Justin Bieber puking on a baby salamander. What we need to do is depress the keys where we don't want a bass drum being played. So I'll depress those, 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 and those. A normal trance beat will have bass drums on 1, 5, 9, and 13. So that should sound like this. Oh yeah, baby. Now, I noticed that maybe our bass drum isn't loud enough, so to control this sound individually, simply go back to your channel 1 here, and under it you'll see level, which controls the volume of that specific sound. So, this is normally, we'll turn that thing up, the next thing down you see length right here, in case we want to make our bass drum sound like a teeny baby, which I don't. This is man trance, not baby trance. Fucking baby trance. Let's say we wanted to make some baby trance, we put that, that length all the way down to 24, and look what we hear. Oh, gay, but no, see? Yeah, juicy. This knob right here represents the pitch of the sound in case we want a deep sound or a gay high-pitched one. Personally, I like the deeper sound. Oh shit, yeah. Um, those are honestly the only knobs I use, so um, let's just leave it at that. So we're not done with this beat. We still need a hi-hat and a clap, so let's load those up. Again, loading the next sound is really simple. Just go to channel 2 this time, click on the folder icon, and instead of bass drums, we'll go back a folder to exclusive drums sorted, and then go to claps. Oh, okay, well this one will work. So load that up, you see that's right there, and now sequencing this clap is the same thing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Don't want to have them on all the notes. Instead, place them on 5 and 13, which is half of the number the bass drums were placed on. You can kind of experiment here, but right now I'll just stick to that. For example, you can make it... With this clap, I'm going to turn up the level so it's louder, and I might even actually turn up the pitch, so it'll sound like this. Okay, so you know the drill. Loading up your third noise, go back from claps, exclusive drums, and then hi-hats. Alright, so I'm going to load up this one. Just a really simple hi-hat noise. Um, hi-hats and trance are usually placed on the off note of the beat, so 3, 
7, 11, and 15. Alright, so that's a simple trance beat. You can choose to juice it up with more sounds if you want, and that's what I will do now. Alright, so I made it a little bit more awesome sounding. Um, let's check it out. So now that we have this thing basically loaded all up and whatnot, um, I'm going to go over a little bit more of V-Drum. So this right here displays the steps. Um, basically what that is, is let's say we wanted our pattern to be a little bit longer. We can load the steps up to 32 because originally it's 16 and then you just multiply that by 2, goes up to 32, voila. The thing is, is that when we get up to 32 steps, we'll have to recreate the drum that we want. So you'll notice right here that there is 1 through 16, 17 through 32. And this basically is just, since we have 32 steps, we have to go into 17 to 32, so just slide that up there. And you'll see that it's completely blank. Oh no, what the fuck? Load up the same pattern you use, so for bass drums, I'll do this. Only for this time, I'm gonna put one at 13 and 15. Same thing with the claps, I'll do five and 13. So I just basically recreated the entire drum track on this second step, so it'll sound like this, only you'll hear a slight difference in the bass drum. So that's totally trancy, right? Um, as for anything else I need to teach you, let's say you want to make um, a sound harder that you can't really achieve with your level um, right here. This right here displays your accent menu. So if you want a soft sound or a medium sound or a hard sound, it all comes from right here. So you'll notice that if I want to make this bass drum hard, I'll just click on hard and then I'll load a hard sound where all of the medium sounds were. You'll notice that instead of orange, it will turn red. So now we will have a bigger, fatter bass drum. Sweet! This right here is your drum pattern sound bank. This number two is this whole entire separate drum thing. So for example, I can make a whole different beat here from the first one. So that's what I'll do. Just really quick, show you what that's all about. Here's our original beat. Here's our new beat. Other than that, there's not a lot that I mess around with. This flam right here will make your sound glitchy. Um, it'll double up your sound. So if you click right above here, it will make your note be a flam note. Yeah, right? It's pretty confusing. So if we set this flam, you'll see that right here, just listen to the note when it gets to right there, you'll hear a weird fucking weird noise. See that? That was like, that pretty stupid. I don't usually use it. Other things in Redrum you should know is the mute and solo keys. Let's say I don't want to hear my bass drum. Yeah, the bass drum's out of there. Other than that, Redrum is pretty simple. It's just used for drums. Um, so that was part two in the series of how to use Reason. Please join me in video three.